hello, hello. My name's Sam and you're watching So Let's Sparkle with Sam. And today I'm going to be doing my So Hayley Jane subscription box unboxing. And as you can see, the sticker is still intact. This has not been opened. So you will see the surprise as I do. And we're going to open the March So Hayley Jane subscription box together. So if you like watching unboxing videos, then like and subscribe my channel. I do um, two unboxing videos a month and also a weekly vlog of all of my kind of sewing endeavours. So if you fancy watching along, if you like what you see, then hit subscribe and the like button and pop a comment in the comment because I do love a chat in the comments. So oh, it's Sunday today. It was a lovely surprise to get my So Haley Jane on the doorstep, my box on the doorstep yesterday when I got back from work. So that was lovely. Um, today, my husband is downstairs cooking us up a roast pork. My children are coming over for their dinner today. And um, so, yes, yeah, so if you hear kind of general family noises going on in the background, that is what's happening. And um, also, there seems to be a real commotion in my garden. So my sewing room backs onto my garden um, and we've got quite a lot of very mature trees in our garden and it tracks lots of birds and <laughs> the birds are so noisy today. So again, if we get disrupted by the birds, my sincere apologies. So that's all of the kind of caretaking done. So let's open the box. I'm going to see if I can unstick the sticker. And then open up our box. I'm going to take it out of view so I don't spoil anything for anyone. Ooh. <laughs> oh, actually, before I open it, I was going to let you know. Um, so when I did my Think Pink subscription box, my friend Karen from Two Pink Shadows uh, on Instagram. She's not another vlogger, but she is a lovely follower of vloggers. And on Instagram, we quite often have a little chat and we were chatting about the subscription boxes. She subscribes to the same subscription boxes that I do. And um, so we like to have a little competition, like little friendly banter about what's coming in the next box. And my guess for this So Haley Jane box was something spring, floral -y kind of thing. And her guess was along the same lines, but she said, I said, oh, maybe we'll get a jersey this time and she said oh we've already had a jersey and we've had a cotton poplin so it might be a viscose so but we'll we'll have to wait and see which one of us is right but we do like having a little guess and if you fancy having a little guess for what's going to be in the next box then pop it in the comments and we'll see we'll see if you're right so it doesn't really matter does it whether we're right or wrong but it's just nice so Sorry, rustly, rustly, rustly tissue paper. Gorgeous yellow tissue paper this month. And then we've got the magazine for this month. It's issue number 53 and the theme is fresh. See, fresh in my youth meant something different, but fresh is great. March 2023. And, um, and yeah, and you get a little magazine each month. So I subscribe to the classic box, the So Haley Jane classic box. It's £35 a month. I pay for my own box. Um, it's £35 a month and you get 2.5 metres of fabric inside the box, along with four fat quarters, the magazine and a few kind of sewing notions and gifts added on. You can also have a mini box for £20 a month and I think you get one metre of fabric in that and three fat quarters and a few little gifts. And then you can also subscribe to a luxury box, which is £65 a month. Um, and then you get more fabric and a pattern and other bits and pieces. But I don't subscribe to that one. I only subscribe to the classic box. So here is the magazine. And we'll just go through the magazine a little bit for you today. So there's lovely Hayley. Looking gorgeous. And there's an interview there. By Atelier Dupe. Fantastic. And then Maker of the Month. So the last month's box was the Valentine's box. 
um, and there's lovely lady there, Ruth, who made the pattern from the Saturday set from the Friday Patty Pattern Company. So that's rather lovely. <laughs> I love the fact that she's got a rose between her teeth. Very romantic. Or two um, with slippery fabric. So we may have a slippery fabric. And I love the fact that they have put a how-to because it's something that um, I get asked all the time and it's something that um, beginner sewers, I had to do a lot of research when I was suddenly come across kind of viscose and other kind of like slippery fabrics. I had to do an awful lot of research to find out how best to manage them. And I know a lot of it is just practice and kind of like, you know, personal, the way, you know, kind of like personal preferences from how to how you deal with it. But actually having someone that actually says, well, you know, this is a really good way of handling slippery fabric is really handy. So you might find that handy. Hope I haven't given anything away. And then you get the three makes. I'll show you the one from the luxury box. So that's the lovely Esther with the luxury box. That's not the fabric in my box. And she hacked the sew over it gazelle dress pattern. Gazelle? Gazelle? Gazelle. I think it's gazelle. I think that might be a free pattern actually because I think I've seen that in the So Frugal, one of the So Frugal vlogs maybe. I've watched so many. I'm I, Honestly, I've got a problem. It's, <laughs> I think I might be addicted to So Frugal vlogs. Um, I kind of hear patterns in my head now but I think that might be a free pattern. I could be wrong. And then the lovely Tamlin from Sew on the Tyne does a fat quarter project. Um, every month and she has done a peg bag so a peg bag which is lovely really handy I always love a peg bag and then there's a maker's gallery with lots of different people that have made things out of either the fat quarters from the box or fabric from the box and um, there's a lovely kind of bee bag which is beautiful and the Marnie blouse there in the um double gauze i didn't i don't think i got that box but that looks like a lovely fabric and then of course that's the valentine's fabric and then a lovely viscose from the luxury box in the nina lee bakerloo dress and then another little kind of um children's dress let me see Little Liz, oh, little Lizard King, the Little Lizard King lawn dress. Beautiful, yeah. fantastic. And then we've got a profile from Becky, lovely. And we've got some pattern picks, some favourite patterns. Oh, I'm definitely going to have a little proper look through this with a cup of tea and a biscuit later today. And then a spotlight on Sew Me Sunshine. And then Haley's little links. I love I love this page actually. It's quite nice. She just kind of what she's reading, what she's up to, what she's cooking, what she's eating. Just kind of nice little life bits. And then what's in the box. So I'll leave that page open because once I've shown you what's in my box, then I'll just go through what's in the box. So first things first, we've got these fat quarters. Now I've had these before, so I know that these are Stuart Hillard fat quarters and I love these. I've made some lovely little makes. In fact, if I can find a picture, I'll pop a picture of one of the makes that I've made with these to show you. I made a little wash bag. I used a little piece of clear vinyl to make the kind of window so you can see what's in the wash bag. And then I used these for the main body of the bag so they are very beautiful so I'll definitely find a use oh and also I did actually decorate a a tote bag with um with some applique with these exact fabrics as well so I'll pop a picture of that in for you as well so you can see a little bit of inspiration for you oh sweet treat swizzlers 
I, th I think I think these might be gifted to my children when they come lunchtime because I've never been a big fan of like sweet any sweets that make your mouth go funny no not for me <laughs> so I think they might go in the uh, donation to the children's fund which they will very much appreciate and then we've got a little pencil here and it says in it says a water soluble marking pencil so it'll be one that you can wash out fabulous blue one and then i did wonder i wondered why this box smelt so amazing and it's because it's got a little bit of soap it smells amazing eucalyptus lemon and mint handmade in devon oh smells i wish you could have smell of vision it smells absolutely divine so that will look great in my little downstairs loo for visitors to wash their hands and then i've got a gutterman thread hope that doesn't give the game away too much on the color of the fabric and then ta -ta -da -da, the fabric so do you know what Karen, I think between the two of us, we've got this bang on because I can definitely see floral in there, although there's more leaves than flowers, although I can see some flowers. And I'm pretty sure that this is this is a viscose of some I think it might be a crepe actually. Hang on, let's have a look. Yes, viscose crepe. There we go. Isn't it beautiful? So now the, the big decision, what do I make with it? So um, if you watched one of my vlogs earlier this week, I am actually, um, I am actually wanting dresses. Dresses that I can wear to work, but also dresses that will work for me to go out in as well. So, um, but I'm quite early on in my dressmaking journey so i don't want anything too complicated but i'm you know i'm up for it i'm totally up for it i'll give anything a go <laughs> and we'll see what happens so yeah so um now previously in my so Haley jane boxes i have been super super speedy so i've managed to make up the box quite quickly um I don't think I'll be able to do that this week. You never know. I might finish the the video and go, hey ho, I know exactly what I want. I'll have the pattern, I'll cut it out and I'll make it. But I'm not sure that that's going to happen this month um, just because I've got so many other sewing projects on um, that I just, I'm just not sure when it's going to be on the list to get done. So but hopefully, if you follow me over on Instagram, I'm so let's sparkle with Sam on Instagram as well. Um, then as soon as I've made it, it will go up there and you will see it. So yes, so what a lovely So Hayley Jane subscription box. So I will just read now from the magazine what, what I've got in my classic box. So I've got 2.5 metres of viscose crepe, 100% viscose. And I have got four indigo elements fat quarters. I'm pretty sure that they are the Stuart Hillard ones. I might, I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure they are. Um, I have got a water soluble marking pencil. I have got Gutterman thread. I've got eucalyptus lemon and mint soap. Um, I've got the magazine, and then I've got the swizzles fizzy things, which I'm going to pass on to my children. <laughs> never been very good with things like that so yeah so that is what's in my box so i do hope you enjoyed the unboxing and i'll see you again really soon bye for now